Registered nurses provide and coordinate patient care, educate patients, educate the public, and provide advice and emotional support to patients and their families. In this video, we will go over what they do, the job market for registered nurses, what kind of money they make, and the top industries and metro areas. Coming up. Hey everyone, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel focused on helping you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoyed this video, support this channel by hitting the like button. Most registered nurses work on a team with physicians and other healthcare professionals. Their duties and titles depend on where they work and the patients they treat. There are many different types of registered nurses. Addiction nurses care for patients who need to overcome addictions to alcohol and drugs. Cardiovascular nurses care for patients with heart disease. Critical care nurses work in intensive care units in hospitals providing care to patients with serious illnesses and injuries. Neonatal nurses take care of newborn babies, and there are many more subsets of registered nurses even beyond this initial list. Also, not all registered nurses work directly with patients. Registered nurses can also work as educators, healthcare consultants, researchers, medical writers, and more. Registered nurses work in a couple different settings. 60%, the vast majority of registered nurses work in hospitals. 18% work in ambulatory healthcare services, which includes physician offices, home health care, and outpatient care centers. 7% work in nursing and residential care facilities, 5% work in government, and 3% work in education. Of these different industry, government actually pays registered nurses the most, with an average wage of a little over $78,000 per year. The second highest is hospitals, which on average pay registered nurses a little over $73,000 per year. Ambulatory healthcare services pay registered nurses around $68,000 per year. Nursing and residential care facilities on average pay around sixty-three. dollars And education pays registered nurses the least, with an average wage of around $62,000 per year. Unlike other occupations, notice that there are no self-employed registered nurses. Entrepreneurship really isn't available to registered nurses. So if you're interested in owning your own company someday, there might be some easier occupations that you could go into that would help you do that. Next, let's take a look at the job market for registered nurses. The registered nurse is the fifth most common job in America. It is only beat out by retail salespersons, food prep workers, cashiers, and office clerks. The job market is really great for registered nurses. This chart shows the job growth of registered nurses over the past 20 years. In the year 1989, there were 2,205,430 jobs for registered nurses. There was a loss of about 90,000 jobs from 2011 to 2012. This might have something to do with the recession, I'm not entirely sure, but the jobs bounced back real quick. In 2018, the government recorded 2,951,960 jobs for registered nurses. So over a 20 year time period, there was a gain of 746,530 registered nurse jobs. So this is extremely high. I actually can't think of any other occupation that has grown this much over the past 20 years. This next chart I'm gonna show you actually shows the unemployment rate of registered nurses over the past 19 years. And it's exactly as you would think. The unemployment rate is extremely low for registered nurses. Only in 2012 did unemployment spike to 2.6% for registered nurses and even 2.6% is extremely low for any occupation. And there are very, very few occupations that have had such persistent low unemployment over the past 19 years, even going through the Great Recession. So in the past, there has been high job growth and extremely low unemployment rates for registered nurses. In fact, I can't actually think of any other occupations that have had this kind of job growth and such a low unemployment rate over the past two decades. The job growth is actually even higher than software developers. The next question is, will this continue? The government is estimating a gain of 12%, which amounts to 354,000 jobs for registered nurses from 2018 to 2028. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%. So adding 354,000 jobs over the next 10 years is extremely strong for registered nurses. So there's gonna be quite a need for registered nurses over the next 10 years. Demand for registered nurses will increase because of our aging population. Registered nurses will also be needed to help patients with diabetes, dementia, and obesity. Next, let's take a look at what registered nurses earn. This graph is showing the average registered nurse pay over the past 20 years. In 1999, the average registered nurse wage was recorded at $44,470. By the year 2018, this average wage had risen to $75,510. So average national wages rose for registered nurses by $31,040 over a period of 20 years. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for registered nurses. The average wage is around $75,000 per year, but certain metro areas actually pay much more than this. So here are five metro areas that have a lot of registered nursing jobs and that pay way above the average national wage. 
Boston, Massachusetts has 59,000 jobs and the average wage in Boston is $95,270. This is almost $20,000 above the average national wage for registered nurses. The Los Angeles, California metro area has over 103,000 jobs for registered nurses. The average wage in Los Angeles is $99,930 for registered nurses, which is almost $25,000 above the national average. Riverside, California has almost 30,000 jobs for registered nurses with an average wage of $101,830. This is over $26,000 above the national wage. The San Francisco, California metro area has over 38,000 jobs for registered nurses, and the average wage in San Francisco is $128,990. This is over $53,000 above the average national wage. And one of the best places for registered nurses, in my opinion, is the San Jose, California metro area. There's over 16,000 jobs, and the average wage in San Jose is $128,610, which is also 50, over $53,000 above the average national wage. San Jose is also a lot cheaper than San Francisco. Those are just some metro areas that are pretty good for registered nurses. Notice that a lot of them are in California and there's actually a lot more California cities that pay registered nurses much more than the average national wage. Are you a registered nurse or are you interested in becoming a registered nurse? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.